Joseph Recluse Decatur's Hotel, located at Kwaoma, the Bicycle Road. Booking for your weddings, parties, wedding refreshment, engagements, corporate meetings, all manner of functions at an affordable rate. Comfortable rooms at an affordable rate. Your home for everything you need. And you have the food. The Katus Hotel, a monochiano, a Oklahoma. Mobi Timia Koyemu Bibia, O Bukia, O Paris, O Engagement, Corporate A, and Penny Four, and Pesa Mokoyemu Paris, Mokoyemu Bibia, O Cop, the Katus, a Kwaoma, O Down, the Bank, Soccer Bank Road. O Qua rooms, you know, at the Fomboko, Ubi Timia, O Bibia, or more and more engagement, Monsu Amoye, more christening. More and more, all manner of parties and functions. Offices for an asset and pay for a person who can meet in so and also book here at the phone book or be out as a local general home, be a soft food, be an air family beer, more pebble beer, cochia, more bedroom to them home, or being in a door for more cocoa pebble beer, share more bedroom to them home. The cartus, your home for everything, will do up as soon by Joe and also your camera. In Tianyanam, the Katos Hotel, your home for everything you need. Monko Sangwe, na mubo hui se, mwa mwotu tu tu kwa naswa bang. Mwa ba, mwa mboki, mwa mboki ya, mwa ba na mochi ya, yesi mochi, kama, 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 kama. In Tino, the Katos Hotel, your home for everything. Welcome to Eric's workshop. Today in the studio is Commander One. I salute you, sir. I salute you, sir. I salute Commander, sir. <laughs> Tawale. Commander is in the house. Hmm. I seniors, remember for the church here, when she a president, the church will be a jubilee house. Um, the church here, when you be a Commander. Yes, sir. Today is your day, and you know last week was a very brilliant week because last week you explained to the viewers what is. All this blood pressure, you know, bruhaha. Everything was really quite explained for them to, 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 to have that information. Yeah. So we thank you for last week. It was really good, and we were talking about obesity and all that. Yeah. But today, we are here in the studio again yeah. to talk about another important thing that is mm. really killing us again, mm. Mm. and this is diabetes. But before much ado, um, just introduce yourself before we, 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 we set the ball rolling as usual. Oh, okay. Um, it's here for. Um, before I mention it, I said, my man can't be blamed. And last week, I came out with a lot of swap. I said, 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 uh, my commander one, I uh, salute you, boss. I salute you, too. When you have a do, honey, you have a chief, I said, last week, I said, you know. The ball is in your court, boss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, our dear listeners, um, like we did you last week, my name is Mr. Franco Bindago. Um, I'm a pharmacist, just like my brother said. And I do my best to be of a help to the community. That's what I do for a living in a way, helping the community. I'm just happy to help the community. So I'm just there helping. And anybody can give me a call. Anybody, any health issues that people have, I'm just there to support each and everyone. Because me, I have suffered. I've really suffered to be a pharmacist. Before we start, before we start the whole show, Last week, he spoke about how to get online so that you can register and pay for your vaccination. Yes, through vaccination. vaccination. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the yeah, website, the website is baba hash chemist dot f n f in Foxtrap and n is November. So f n one four two at nhs dot net. When you go to that website, you can obviously pay for your. Um, vaccination fee for traveling and then their email to is pharmacy dot 
fcv61 at nhs.net. So if you want to contact them for any other uh, further information, you can do so. Um, both, sorry to both, but, even both, um, both information you give out, yeah. they can register. You can register. for any flu vaccination flu because vaccine. there is two pharmacy here: Baba Chemist and Westbridge Chemist. Okay. Westbridge is the largest chemist in England, anyway. Okay, it's in Streatham. So the Streatham Westbridge is the last one that I gave. You yes. Email. So any email. of these emails, when you just click in, just go to the website, register whatever flu vaccination or travel illness, anti-malaria, even if you want malaria prophylaxis, we can prescribe you malaria prophylaxis and dispense a malaria prophylaxis for you. So anything at all, we are there to help the community. All we want to do, if we, I know these days it's very difficult to see the GPs. It's so, so difficult mm -hmm. because they are working from home. Yeah, because and, of and COVID. It's, it's queued up. It's queued up. It's just too much. You make an appointment, you have to make an about appointment. two, two yes. weeks. So we, are, we want to take this opportunity to help people as well. So just walk into a pharmacy or go online. The line online um, that we've given you the address. Just go on, make your payment, come in and come in for your flu job. It's as simple as that. Yeah. You know, Baba Chemist, which is in number five to seven Torso. Um, the address is SW2 postcode mm -hmm. 2TN. Okay. So just go to Baba Chemist and to TH, sorry. Go to Baba Chemist and get this thing sorted. Or go to Westbridge. We can be. I've got Sarah in Baba Chemist. Mm -hmm. And I've got Tofik as well in Westbridge. In Westbridge. Tofik is helping. We are both both helping Mr. and Mrs. Wale, who, okay. who are doing so well. Honestly, Tao, so I want to help you guys. Mm -hmm. Me, in life, some people are born to be leaders. Some people are born to crown kings. Some people are kings. My job is to crown kings. That's what Rafi told me. One of uh, is my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. He said, Frank, your job is to crown kings. You understand again? So I don't force myself to so, be a leader. Okay. But I push people to lead. to lead. And that's what I do for a living in a way. That's what I prefer to do for a living. So today, we want to speak about diabetes. diabetes. Last week, mm -hmm. So many people call me, they say, oh, the tree was too much. But as I speak English, maybe then you can possibly speak the, speak the tree, tree okay. as well. Mm -hmm. So people can really understand. They will so be I'll ask. come in in the English and then I'll convert it. I'll just uh, translate it. To yeah, the, uh, as simple as that. We'll take our time so yeah. people can understand. understand. So that for the benefit of people who are like Baba, mm -hmm. them so they can also they can understand also what we are, yeah. we are saying. You know. So my first question to... Uh, my commander one, my chief pharmacist is, what at all is diabetes? See, I can't diabetes, sir. What is diabetes? Can you explain that to my viewers? At least let's set the ball rolling for that question. In a simple term, when we say diabetes, diabetes is a condition that a person's blood sugar level becomes very very high when your blood sugar level becomes very very high then we turn it as diabetes okay because we all have to have a certain millimoles of blood uh, millimol per liter of blood sugar in our blood so the moment you go over then complications can happen at all so therefore we want to maintain the sugar level to a certain degree normally which is between four to six millimole per liter okay. so if you go above that then the person is tending to be diabetic okay so we have the pre-prandial and the prandial levels so the pre-prandial is when you haven't eaten and then the prandial is where you've eaten so he's going to talk about the levels that if you are not diabetic what kind of reading are you supposed to have? And if you are diabetic before meals, what kind of reading are you supposed to have? And all that. We are, we are, we're going to be talking about all that. But before we get, the, we, 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 we get deep into it, I want to ask him what types of, what are the types of diabetes? You know, just, I mean, just, 
when we talk about it, it be. Let me say, I am here now. Now, if I say I can't wash them, then I know that I have become wash them. Two main. There is two main. Um, a uh, two main type of diabetes. The other type of diabetes that we call, as we go along, we will mention it as well. But frankly speaking, there is two main typical type of diabetes. Okay. We have type one diabetes, okay. but the type one diabetes is genetic. Okay. You know that's when you are born with it. You know some people their pancreas. I'll come into that. What okay. what do you mean by the pancreas? Mm -hmm. The pancreas is completely gone. Mm -hmm. You know, when the pancreas is completely gone, mm -hmm. then of course you are classified as type one diabetes. And those people they don't produce the thing that balances the blood sugar level okay. at all. You know, and we do have type two diabetes. Mm -hmm. The type two diabetes also normally some people. Either the pancreas is producing the insulin that helps to stabilize mm -hmm. the blood sugar level. Okay. But the insulin that are being produced not by enough. the pancreas, no, it's either not enough okay. or the insulin is not doing the job that they are supposed, supposed to do. To do. Okay. Like this video we are here now. Let's say in a simple term, let me explain this in a very simple term. Okay. You have a key. Okay. You want to open this. No, don't. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you use the wrong key, it's not going to open. It's not going to open. Mm -hmm. So they are possibly the pancreas is producing the insulin, yes, but, they are not doing but the insulin is not doing their, doing their, doing their job. job. That's a very simple as well. It's like I give you insulin. Do you understand yes. me? Yeah. So mm -hmm. what tend to really really happen with the type two diabetes is the that one is very very common. Is the type two diabetes is very common. Like I, I even said last week, statistically, mm -hmm. that as we are all growing, the chances of people getting diabetes increases. Okay. About, I think I read this somewhere, that statistically, about 70% of the population will get diabetes when they reach this thing. So okay. we need to bear that one also in mind. So right now, at least we are able to differentiate between type 1, diabetes and type 2 diabetes and research some of the research says that type 1 is whereby your immune system attacks you know your insulin production and all that and you can't even produce the insulin so the type 1 you are forced to inject insulin and type 2 is basically when the pancreas is not producing enough or it's producing but it's not doing the job as it should so yeah, change them. Nimi no no said ya um um chemist me 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 pharmacist kind no. But ako ya type one, but ako ya type two. But ako no type one no ay ya ako no ay chile se. No no just se. Ako ya biya ni me biya o umoji ya no. Ay pancreas ena ay ya kumo juma no. Se sa adi ya no e friend insulin no a e boa e breaky. Glucose uh, 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 it's, it's, it's not working. It's not working. You have to be injected with insulin. 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 Mm -hmm. It's very, very common than type 1 diabetes. So who are the class of people that sort of contract diabetes or get diabetes? I mean, when you talk about classes of it, it can be uh, uh, genetic. Okay. You know, and type 2 diabetes, a uh, lifestyle as well, like we mentioned last week. Okay. If your lifestyle, eating and other things is not even done as appropriate as it should be done now, they can trigger diabetes. So your lifestyle is so, so, so important. And normally, people who tend to be overweight, they even catch type 2 diabetes so easily. So, and especially if, let's say, your mother is diabetic, or your mother, your parents were diabetic when they were at the age of maybe so 60, 65. Yes, yeah. you are so more likely to be genetic. Mm -hmm. It's hereditary. Okay, so one, Hereditary two, lifestyle three. But I heard that when you eat too much sugar, some of this, we have got the myth that too much 
sugar also <laughs> makes you diabetic. <laughs> diabetic. So let's let's. Can you explain to be that to my viewers? Uh, viewers, let me tell you something. If somebody tells you eating too much sugar will cause diabetes, it's a lie. Okay. So now we it's a lie. It's a lie. That myth, too much you know? sugar will rather cause tooth decay. To the rather than diabetes. diabetes. It doesn't cause diabetes. Mm. What tends to happen is you've eaten. The food has to be digested. Okay. You go through the process of digestion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And the end product will be sugar. Okay. It's the sugar that gives you energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you are watching me now. You watching me now, you are using energy to watch me. Yeah. So the sugar have to produce that energy yeah but what tends to happen is you have a pancreas the pancreas produce insulin mm -hmm. okay the to body break down the sugar. to break down the sugar mm -hmm. when the insulin is too much mm -hmm. in the blood stream some is converted to glycogen okay by the help of the insulin okay do you understand me mm -hmm. so that that is the reason why it, 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 it that's the reason why sometimes when you eat too much, mm -hmm. you become obese. You become big. Because, because it's the sugar is converting into glycogen, yeah. into the adipose of the cells. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So, so you become big. Fatty acids and you know. Yeah, you become big. But when you are not eating, mm -hmm. what is the opposite? It if means, you are not eating, what it, happened? It means your glucose is being broken down, not into glycogen, but into your blood, your, your, if you are not eating, to or if you are, if you are normal, mm -hmm. let's say you are, blood, you are, your insulin works, mm -hmm. you are insulin work, you are not diabetic, yeah, and you are not eating. Mm -hmm. What is the consequence? You're gonna grow lean. Absolutely. Yeah. You are growing lean. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the glucose mm -hmm. is converted to glycogen uh -huh. and come and hide in your body. Yes. So you become big. Yeah. But when you are not eating, you are not eating. Mm -hmm. The glucose then have to be converted back. Mm -hmm. The glycogen have to be converted back to glucose. Mm -hmm. It is coming out from your mm -hmm. cells. Yeah. And convert back to glucose. Glucose. Mm -hmm. So that you use energy to be able to see. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah. I, I, I don't know whether they, understand you understand me. me. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's just a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. Conversion. If you eat too much, you there will be too fat. much sugar mm -hmm. in your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. Some and will be converted to glycogen. To glycogen yeah. And it goes and it's going to be stored as fat. As fat. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it's the other way around, then it's the opposite. So you become lean. lean. That is the, the, the simple understanding. I believe your listeners or your viewers will be able to understand this simple process. Like I said, I'm there for everyone. If you have any health issue, please ask me. So how Even you... if I cannot help you, I will get someone, a specialist, to be able to help you. You, you are saying insulin doesn't work properly. How do you explain that to my viewers? Okay. Mm -hmm. What tends to happen is the insulin that you have mm -hmm. okay not to go too deep i want to try and make it simple because i don't want to go into receptors you know yeah. i don't know you possibly understand me when yeah. i say receptors yeah mm -hmm. okay it's like key and lock mm -hmm. this is insulin mm -hmm. the insulin have to attach to this to, this. to be able to do the job mm -hmm. Good. but if the insulin is this wait mm -hmm. it can't attach it can't to it Although the insulin is being produced, but it doesn't attack. So it doesn't so it's do not, the it's job. Not working so it's not working properly. Mm -hmm. So that is what we mean by the type 2 diabetes. Or the insulin is being produced, mm -hmm. but it's not enough mm -hmm. to be able to convert the glucose to glycogen. Okay. So therefore, there's too much sugar in your blood. And when there is too much sugar too in your bloodstream, the consequence it's so many things. I don't know whether you. I understand it because there's hypoglycemia and there's hyperglycemia. hyperglycemia. Yeah. So you either get too much of the sugar in your system that is going to 
you know, um, catapult into something of coma or something, yeah. or hypo, which is the low mm. uh, level sugar, which is also dangerous. Mm. So the high and the low also gives us a very mm. awful um, yeah. replications. Yeah. And, you know, I think say, say, say maybe you do know, yeah, yeah, I feel you yeah, know the difference between one and uh, two, no, yeah. and I feel so no. Um, when crop bear so na you fat edin ya, or no so you no so actually chill, me say. Maybe we have now Papa now we see where be now Mama maybe we be. We 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 see them there. We be timing your binti. No one show us who Lifestyle now so say. In your mind, yeah, Udi, yeah Udi, Udi and yeah Udi. Lifestyle no the the here pie, the Udi ni the one no. And only lifestyle because who need be a Papa and also so timing my wife kesi ma kesi. Yeah, so so that contribute. That contribute. Yeah. And see, and also so yeah yeah chill chill. And ah, what 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 kind insulin no? When I'm acquiring one, say, yeah, na a boy, ma a city na would you know a teeny a year you might pack. The thing is, it's not even the shoes. So that's because you see, you did carbohydrates in your diet. It's converted to sugar. It is not necessarily say you are eating sugar itself because you may be eating certain food carbs, carbs or then they don't into sugar. So you get you've got because some people have got this. Thing in their mind that, oh, if I eat sugar, I'll get diabetes. Okay. Please take that out of your mind. That is not true. So before, what I want to ask you before, how how do you, you know, stay away or how do you prevent it? Even before you get, how do you prevent? Make sure you have some kind of preventative measures like we mentioned that will help you not yeah. to get diabetes. I mean. It's and all then, about lifestyle. And then we'll come to the, the It's all about your lifestyle. You it's all about your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You make sure you are you are not obese or you are not too big. Mm -hmm. You know, you make sure you are eating the right food kind of that you have to eat. Mm -hmm. Fruit, vegetables. What about alcohol? Alcohol is okay. Provided you stay within the limit. So how many how many uh, cans of castrate do you have to drink? <laughs> Two before. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum two units. Two units. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I think it's the government recommendation is uh -huh. um four units. Four units. Four, four units, which is male. Four, yeah. And for a day. What about females? Uh, I think females is is it two or three? I I, I can't remember on top of I my think head. male male is four or five, and then male is four. Male is three. Three four, units. Four, yeah. Three so units. you can't drink more than that. You, you, you have to. Be very careful the amount of alcohol you consume. Like me, well, I'm a Christian. I will not sit on the national radio or television mm -hmm. to tell people that they should be drinking. Mm -hmm. It's not my style. Yeah. But health wise, and giving health advice, you I will say the recommendation is this. Yeah. Do you understand me? So I can never shy away because even some of the cough medicine many medicines mm -hmm. have got that alcohol in it. it has got alcohol in it because we use the alcohol yeah, as a preservative it's got coke in it uh, uh, you know a little bit of so when people say yeah. no alcohol no sometimes i laugh i laugh and to me my job as a pharmacist is the welfare of the people making sure only, let me ask you a first question. Let me ask this question. It's very important. Okay. Let's say your car breaks down. Okay. If your car breaks down, mm -hmm. who is the first? Per what, what would you do? Your car breaks down. Mechanic what would you do? Is the first person to contact. Good. Yeah. Why are you going to mechanic? Because he's the person that can fix my car. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm glad you've given me that answer. Mm -hmm. So me as a pharmacist, every pharmacist, our job mm -hmm. is to produce medicine, yeah. and the medicine mm -hmm. is to make you better. Yeah. Is to take the medicine, mm -hmm. go into your system, and make you better. Yeah. So my role is to know the pharmacodynamics and the pharmacokinetics of drugs. Of drugs, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I have to know how your body works. Yeah. Every single thing in your body before I can produce the medicine. Vital stats. Of, of you see, 
this COVID has it's now different. educated a lot of people mm -hmm. about the role of pharmacists. Because before people think or people thought. Oh, pharmacists just go there and they give you the medicine. No, 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 no. It's more than that. It's not about dispensation of the medicine. No, it's not about that. It's about because we have to make the drug. So we have to know how your body weighs. The composition of the drug. The composition of the drug. How I have to make the drug to be able to work in your body. The lifeline, the timeline and all that. Exactly. So in a simple explanation, the perception of people thinking, oh, pharmacy, no, no, we are more than that. We spend five years studies more than that. Mm -hmm. People may not understand what we, during this COVID season, now people have realized the role of pharmacists and what we can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you tell people, oh, you have to go give them jobs and other things, they get surprised. You know, they didn't know if you pharmacists can do yellow fever, oh, pharmacists yeah. can give injection, mm -hmm. pharmacists can do. There are so many things we can do. Mm -hmm. So I want people to be aware and people to take advantage of their pharmacies around them. Anyone listening to my voice, please take advantage of your pharmacy around you. Because there are so many pro services that we can provide for the community. And that's what we are doing. I come here, I share my knowledge with your viewers. I want viewers to also benefit from the little words I'm speaking because you will be very surprised. Those things, or last week we spoke about blood pressure, blood pressure yeah. it could possibly have saved someone's life. You're right. I'll come and say a lot of things, mm -hmm. and I'll come here when I said this on Fire Live Radio. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually called the radio and cried. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Um, um the, the blood pressure no it wasn't blood pressure it was dementia dementia okay dementia and um hrt okay menopause okay. when i spoke about it because in a current language when we chop system they say we're before mm -hmm. but they forget that it's dementia, it's dementia. that has kicked in yeah dementia and also it's it is um menopause that yes. has kept in yeah not almost a show yeah. so people think they are, they are, they are, they are which is, I'll come and explain that on the radio so that the mindset of people can change. Yeah. Are you understanding me? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's not divert what we want to speak about today. Okay. Let's talk about diabetes. So, and if you are tested positive for diabetes, how do you start treatment? You know, and where, how do you, and what kind of, you know, let's let's go through the house first before okay. we come to the medication. That okay. Really I mean, not. if you have been tested or if you've come, gone to the pharmacy, we've done and we know you are a diabetic, depending on the range. I said a normal blood sugar level should be between 4 to 6 millimole okay. per liter. Per liter. If, yeah. let's say, you are too much high, I will ask you whether you've eaten. If you've eaten, sometimes when people are eating, their blood sugar level can go high. Yeah. So, I will ask you, if do, do possibly we will do another test and see. Maybe ask you not to eat and let's do the test and see. So before you carry on, how do you even test? What 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 kind of tests are there? Ah, just walk into your walk into your local to pharmacy. Determine walk into your local you pharmacy. Diabetic. I will do it. Okay. It's just ten minutes. 15 so, 20 minutes. Is I'll it do that it. simple as oh, yeah, 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 very or simple. You have to do blood. No, no, blood test. I'll take a prick of your blood. Uh -huh. And I'll do the test in front of you. Okay. But what about so you, you have to tell the person or ask the person if they've eaten or not because yeah, it's going to, I have to you know have yeah, an impact I have to yeah on the reading on the reading mm -hmm. I have to ask you guys so with diabetes it's not a big deal now we have a cardio check cardio check check your blood sugar level as well as your cholesterol okay. so I'll be able to give you the two readings very very simple blood test all I do is just take a blood a prick prick yeah. of a blood mm -hmm. from your hand and that's it the test will give me a result straight away so does it mean that only one test can determine if you are diabetic oh yeah yeah only one test just one test oh just one test for just one day yeah that's it or you have to go through it's not series. even one day minutes minutes Mm, I, I don't sit down, I please, please. To, no, 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 no. Some fa certain pharmacies do it, especially with Lloyd's Pharmacy and even Baba Chemist. Mm -hmm. They are providing these services. Okay. Or Westbridge. 
They are providing these services. You can go and check if you are diabetic because once you are growing old, it's very important. There's a tendency for you to. Uh, because that's why I said me, yeah. I do my MOT every six months old. Okay. MOT, I just take a blood and just check it. Mm. Why wouldn't I do it? I check my blood pressure. I check my my obesity is possibly BMI is high. Time. Which is normal. Yeah, Me as a black man, it will be. Caribbean, we have, yeah. we have got high bone density, yeah. and muscular. Um, you know, so that one is fine. But with regards to um, being diabetic, I will plead with you, please, please, there are tests that can be done. Go to your pharmacy or a pharmacist that can do your health check. So, so, so simple. All I want to beg people to do is, as we are getting old, let's do health check. Once a year, it doesn't cost. I mean, this thing, we charge up, think about less than 25 pounds, you know. To go and do your check. Yeah, less than so 25 pounds. Get yourself checked every, I would say every six months. You know, how, how much is MOT? 12, 12 months is, 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 a, is a lot. How, how much is MOT? Days. MOT on cast. Yeah. Um, it depends. I think it's about 40 pounds. It depends. Um, some charges 40, 50, 60. You see? Depends so you as a health, mm -hmm. uh, as a person, 25 pounds is not... And then we do the cast MOT all the time. Why yeah. don't we go and check ourselves? ourselves? Please. I'll beg you, so, as we are getting old, mm -hmm. let's try our very best and do this. It's so, 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 so important. So um, I was asking, how... Do you manage your, your diabetes if, if you are? I mean, if you are a diabetic, mm -hmm. if you are diabetic, the best thing you have to do is to ensure that you are you are eating healthy. You have a, a healthy lifestyle. You are eating healthy. You are, of course, you have a balanced diet. Right. Everything right. is, mm -hmm. you know, well, and you do a regular checkup as well. You, Luckily, get the machine. Some, get the machine. It's, it's not. It's not expensive. The machine is some, no, no. That's blood pressure. No, I'm talking about the BMS machine. The the BMS yeah. machine. Oh no, no, it's expensive. No, don't go there. It's expensive <laughs> for the no, no, it's expensive. Blood sugar. Oh, it's very expensive. How much is it? Because hey, I think I bought, I you, one no, no, no. It's, it's you're talking about about over four hundred pounds. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cardio check. It's very expensive. Not machine. the cardio check. I'm talking Which about the, the blood, the blood sugar test. Oh, the blood sugar test. Yeah, it's blood a, it's sugar about test. twenty pounds. Yeah, that's what. Oh I'm no, 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 no. Yeah. That one is about twenty pounds. Yeah, that's for diabetic um, readings. Yeah, yeah. That's about twenty pounds. So what, what, what one were you talking about? I've told you, mean the cardio check. Hey, the cardio, the cardio, cardio. Anything <laughs> cardio is expensive. <laughs> anything, especially even the. the, the the, the, the cardiologist, when you, when you visit the cardiologist, you know, you, you have to pay high, especially yeah. in America and UK yeah. and Europe. Mm. So, it's quite expensive. Yeah, it's very, so very all expensive. all the gadgets are very expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very expensive. Anything to do with the heart. Yeah. Okay. So, we just have to be very, very careful and see what we can all do to help ourselves. Um, look, our job, you don't have a phone line people can call in here. Me, I like questions, you know. Oh, okay. I like people bombarding me with questions. I should have put it so can so that I can answer. I because I like I like questions because there's so much information here. So when I don't even know what to say. So what, 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 what kind of medicines are used to treat diabetes? Oh, there are so many medications that are used. We have anti-diabetic medications like metformin, which is the basic one. The basic one. The metformin. Metformin. Yeah. metformin. Because some of these uh, medications, what they do is they squeeze the pancreas. Okay. So that the pancreas will produce insulin. When I say pancreas, the pancreas is an organ yeah. which is located at the back of the stomach. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and this organ produces insulin, the pan pancreas, mm -hmm. the insulin, so if you are not producing the insulin or the insulin is not working, that's when you become diabetic. Okay. So what we do is, if you are not being, or the insulin is being produced, but it's not producing it's not, properly, not then we give you the synthetic insulin, okay. so that the insulin will do their job. So that's a type 1 for the type 1. Or type 1 or type 2. Oh, that's for the type 1, yeah. Okay. That's specifically for the type 1. But people with type 2, the insulin is being produced by the pancreas, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Or 
we have to it squeeze its target. Yes, or we have to squeeze the the actual this thing to mm-hmm. make sure the insulin there's enough insulin. Okay. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that is what we mean by the type two. Yeah. So it, it uses they can use metformin. Oh yeah, metformin. So the type two you can use metformin and or what, glycoside. What? Or glycoside. Okay. They are when I say zide. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like what I was saying uh-huh. last week. Yeah, there are so many different types. So it depending on the one that your doctor will recommend mm-hmm. for you, or the one that will work for you. Okay. But the basic one is the insulin. The insulin too, we have modified release one, whereby you take it and it stays in your bloodstream for a very long time. Okay. So and of course, every drug has got a side effect. Even water, water that we drink is got side effect. Side effect. So, so now we've talked about the medication for type two. What about type one? Insulin. Type one is just type insulin. one is the insulin. Whether you insulin, like it, do you, have, do you have types of insulin? Oh yeah, we or? do have different types of insulin. Okay. We have short acting insulin. We have long acting insulin. Mm-hmm. We have intermediate acting insulin. Mm-hmm. So depending on and some of the depending you on have to, your diagnosis. So depending on your diagnosis, mm-hmm. so your doctor will, or your diabetic nurse will show you. Mm-hmm. Or what you've got to do, and some people too, they find it very difficult mm-hmm. in terms of the. Uh, it's just like, let me let me say this before. I and how do they coach them to inject themselves? Absolutely, that's what I was coming up. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's so 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 simple. They will show you. Don't be. Don't. Uh, some people don't like needles. They don't like injection, but it's Those so so, who don't so like simple. Needles, you have to like it because it's your health. It's your health. It's, it's, your it's so 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 simple now these days. All you do is you just inject it. Especially people who are born with diabetic, they get used to the needles. And now you've got so many different systems now, so you don't even feel that you are injecting yourself. You don't. It's not like those long ones that we used to use. Now we've got pen needles. Okay. You know, you just put like the, the epipens. Epipens and you know, like the epipen. Yeah. Pen needles. You just say, Chow! and that's it. You inject yourself. Mm-hmm. So 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 simple. I'll put a short video on how to do the test on yourself. It's just simple, very short. UK yeah. diabetes. Short video on how to do the test yourself and get the readings. Yeah. So how 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 do people with diabetic live with it? You know, do you have to go through the five stages of, you know, grief, Kubler-Ross, like, you know, you have to accept it last minute, you, you, you are in denial, you are, you are aggrieved, you are, you are depressed, and you know, you go through all those stages before you accept that, no, right now, I'm diabetic, so I have to deal with it. This is what I am. I no. mean, my advice is, you are diabetic, deal with it. Just accept it. Because, look, diabetes, whether we like it or not, like I gave you the statistics, in Ghana, about 80% of people who are diabetic are adults. Whether we like it or not, somehow we will, come, we will be diabetic. The people on prepare. So are some of the kids diabetic as well? Oh, yeah. Teenagers. Teenagers, yeah. And how do they control it? How is it, is it no, because of the lifestyle. Or lifestyle. It can be genetic or your lifestyle. You know, for instance, if your mom because I thought that or your kids dad don't have that kind of, you know. Disease. Oh, you can, you can. So if you are not eating healthy or you are playing with things, and maybe you are both parents have got diabetes, okay, okay, so uh, then the you are more thing. likely to get diabetes. So you have to be very careful the way you eat, your social. The lifestyle and the, the way you do your things. Okay. Otherwise, I'm afraid you will also be a full-blown diabetic person. Diabetic person. Okay. So it's very, very important. I mean, our viewers, very, very important. Diabetic is normal. Don't get so worried about it. Okay. Don't get worried. But people say that if you are diabetic and you start using, you know, the drugs and all that, you can't function well, you know, in bed and all that. It, what, it, what, can you, you know break that myth for us? Okay. Uh, to me, uh, I have to be fair, some of the drugs causes those side effects. Causes those side effects. Okay. But the point is, you either suffer to die with diabetes mm-hmm. or because of 
the side effect mm -hmm. to you want to die. Come on. So it means you have to go in for the benefits first. Yes. The benefits are And great. also drugs yes. are there now. Nowadays we have so many drugs mm -hmm. that can help you to perform in bed. Okay. So I don't see the reason why you can deny yourself from taking medication. From taking medication. Please, you need to take your medication. It's because very important. Once you are growing, your systems and your organs are not really functioning as they should That's when it, they you should. were younger. So you have to try as much as possible and be compliant absolutely yeah. so please please all we will do is make sure diabetes exists mm -hmm. it's not something it's not a big deal to be diabetic if you're diabetic it's not a big deal you are diabetic and so what it's not a life sentence it's not a life sentence yeah. so it's if you're manageable. diabetic it's manageable yeah please it's manageable mm -hmm. even if you cannot perform trust me there are drugs that are there that will help you help you so He's broken the myth for us, you know, when you are diabetic, it doesn't mean that it's, 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 it's um, a dysfunctional sentence for you, that you can't perform in bed and all that. Just be compliant with your medication and make sure that you save yourself first. You don't need to be non-compliant. And also, one thing I will say, please, 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 do not, and I mean, do not stop taking your medication if you are diabetic. Until your doctor tells you to stop taking so, certain medication. Yeah. Because some of Do these not. patients, they are very, you know, very stubborn. And they think, oh, if I stop taking it, nothing is going to happen to me. You and die! You don't, you don't know that the... the, the Tolly, you um, will die! Kind of takes off, you know, the medication. And if you stop that medication, you wouldn't even know what's going to happen to you. You will die! Make sure you are compliant. Make sure you take your medication religiously as it's prescribed for you, isn't no. it? Mm -hmm. Look, my uncle went to Ghana to celebrate his 50th birthday, I think about 15, 20 years ago. Okay. He did not take anti-malaria. He went, he caught malaria. Oh, wow. And the parasite, unfortunately, traveled to the brain. Oh, so he got the brain hemorrhage. Meningitis. So he died. Oh, okay. So why are we not taking advantage so when we sit here this on in this studio to, to advise people? Mm -hmm. Look, me as a pharmacist, I always say to myself, like I told my wife before coming here, mm -hmm. my job is to help the community. Tauli, that's me. Even if I have to speak to save life, mm -hmm. one person, one person yeah. after my job. This is why when people do things to me, it doesn't touch me. It does not affect me. You can do, you can pray over me. You can do anything you want to do against me. Nothing will happen to me. Because the people that blesses me, they are more than people that want yes. to curse me. So I'm very, very happy to be here in this studio to help our people and your viewers. Like I said, I'm even more determined to talk deeply about certain things. I will come and talk about prostate cancer. I'll talk about so many illness that is really, really killing us. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate the little studio that you have. Honestly speaking, I'm happy. I'm really happy for you. Our job is to educate the community. You know, our job is to educate the community. And that's what I want to do. It's to help the Ghanaian community. We thank you for coming to the studio today to enlighten us on diabetes. And it was really a good one. At least we have known the types of diabetes, type 1, type 2. We know about the insulin. We know about the medication. We know about how to manage it. We know about how to test it. So we've got so many, um, so much information today about diabetes. Um, Sebe and Sembi Bia Yachi Chim about Sichiari Sichiari Bako, a Sichiari, and Ninina Yachi Chim said, Yes, ye a Juma. When I'm a qua, I said, Yeah, the Sichi and a co, a quay a Juma, and a pancras, and no, as I, you know, a walk with your machi hono, a yap more Juma, a yes, Sichi and more Juma, and my Bia a year period. Yes, yes, you and Ninina, everything is. It's, it's really um, there is also another thing I wanted to say you know during pregnancy okay. some people do have diabetes in pregnancy 
So gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes. Okay. So bear that water also mm -hmm. in mind. So those people, unfortunately, sometimes. So how do they manage the, the, the you know? The, we give them the insulin. Gestational. Diabetes. We give them insulin. We okay. teach them. We give them insulin. And how do them. you sort of diagnose it? Is it early stages of pregnancy? Yes. Or later stages That's why pregnancy? in pregnancy they do blood tests all the time. Oh, okay. You know they do blood tests all oh, the time, so, the so we that, they yes. check it all the time. We, so okay. we make sure everything is is fine. So with people that really are pregnant, mm -hmm. when they have pregnancy. this pregnancy, mm -hmm. yeah, um, it, it can be managed. It's not. It can be managed. Yeah. It's not. But unfortunately, some of them mm -hmm. they do tend to have a full blown diabetes after pregnancy. And why is that? That is that is a big. I mean, because once you some, become some of them after pregnancy, they get so many big. different type of diseases, yeah. and it comes to stay. Some yeah. of them come to stay. stay. It doesn't yeah. even go away. No. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's something is manageable, and it's something that can be something can be done about it. But like I said, it's all about lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's all about lifestyle. If you manage your lifestyle Absolutely. properly, what you then eat, I think, what you yeah, yeah, you can. You're exercising you can as well. You have to exercise, as well. apart from what you eat and what you drink. Absolutely. You have to exercise. You know, la last week I was telling you about, uh, you know, this thing, it really, really bothers me, especially people who say, oh, me, be menti, menti me, uh, anyway. Uh, no, metro. Yes. Look, you've got to take your medication. Me no, metro. no, you have to take me. It's so so the important. The benefits outweighs the risks. The benefits outweigh the risks. So you have to take your medication. Very, very, that's what it's called compliance. You have to be very religious when it comes to your medication because that's going to keep you alive, isn't it? Because people are dying with without any sort of um, provocation and all that. They just die like that because they are not compliant or they don't accept that they are in this condition so they have to take medication, isn't it? Yes. Mm. And also people who are diabetic, it's very important they also need to check their eyes. Okay. You so know, because they tend to get a condition poor called eyesight poor or eyesight. glaucoma. It's called diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy. retinopathy. Okay. Yeah. So they can go blind. Okay. You know, so it's very and, and important. And why is that? What, what, what causes that? Because I think most of the diabetic patients, they go yeah. for yeah. periodic eye checks. Eye checks. Eye checks. Eye yeah. checks. You need to. You, uh, otherwise, you get diabetic. I don't want to go too deep about that. Otherwise, I will swear. Okay. But people do get. Um, so be careful if you are diabetic. Make if sure you're diabetic, you go for eye sure. tests yeah. periodically. So periodically. Periodically. Otherwise, you get it all managed. Yeah, it's also so important. But if you are diabetic, trust me, and you are in this country, it can be controlled. Okay. It can be controlled. Please don't sit down and think nothing can be controlled. Even in Ghana now, they are very good doctors. You know, if you are if you are concerned about your health, you would get proper good doctors to take care of you. Unless you are not concerned, that one you stay home and then you you, you can um, sort of break down. But if you are concerned, if you are really concerned about your condition, there are good doctors in Ghana. So if you are not living in UK or America or any other developed country and you are in Ghana, there are equally very good doctors out there. So, can you have of Yeah, it's, it's so, so, so very important. Uh, you know, like I said, mm -hmm. if you are overweight, you are more likely to get a diabetes. Yeah. You know, we, we spoke about BMI last week. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. try and maintain the BMI. The body mass index. Body it's mass index. Important. Like I said, your weight, weight divided you by your height square. Maintain your a very 24 .5. healthy weight. Yeah, yeah. 24.5. Mm -hmm. If you can stay and maintain 24.5 body weight, trust That's me, good. you'll be okay. But like I said, we'll try and organize and get a time, I'm um, sorry, a f telephone call or a telephone for people to call in, whatever. So okay. that we can answer questions as well. But if anybody is got question, they should put it to you. Okay. Any question about health, mm. any question, even if it has got nothing to do with diabetes, they anything. Because diabetes. the thing, me, when people call me, I'm happy. Mm. Honestly, like I said, I also learn from people. Yeah, I learn a lot from people. Mm. So please, please, from please, please. It's yeah. it's just there. Uh, I want to do my best and help the community. Okay. So. I know you've listened to us. We spoke about diabetes, different types of diabetes. You know, 
you name it. Mm. That one, that two, um, uh, and you know, funny enough, sometimes some people do get diabetes. Mm -hmm. That they are not diabetic because when they eat, then their sugar level becomes so high. Uh -huh. Okay. You know, it doesn't mean they are diabetic. It can come down. Mm -hmm. It after, can also after, after a while. while. But you then have to do checks, checks, just to make sure you are not diabetic. Yeah, okay. So just to have. You know, because I remember some years ago, like um, like fifteen to twenty years ago, I went to the GP. I had taken in some sugar, you know, some tea, and um, the GP tested me and said that I'm diabetic. And I said, no, I just took in some sugar. So let's let me come back the next day or the other the, the next time to come and check it. And it was true, I wasn't diabetic. Yeah, because so if you, if, you, if you don't take care, they will put you on diabetic medication, yes. and that will be it. You have to also be very careful about the diagnosis because if you know yourself and you know yeah. that your lifestyle is good and you know you've taken something maybe be two hours before coming, come on, an hour yeah. before coming, yeah. you can read high. Yeah. So that one you have to be very, 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 very cautious smart. about it. So yeah. that you, you're not going to be diagnosed wrongly. Yeah. Because there are wrong diagnoses everywhere. So you don't want to So be your viewers, whatever they ask me, I will deliver. So I will wait promotion. next time. Whatever you want to ask me, yes. anything they want to know. Let me know. I know somebody tested me and said, oh, if I can talk about PALS okay. or hemorrhoids. Somebody okay. said that to me last week after listening Coco to this. In <laughs> so, <laughs> Coco Man can you I'll tell you. <laughs> so, um, like I said, let me put this on board again. If you can read the 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 message again. The, 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 yeah. The, 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 um, if you want to go for your vaccines, there's a site that you need to go and register and pay, and then you can book that appointment and, and get and get it sorted out. It's Baba B A B A High High Fed Dash Dash Chemist dot F N Foxtrap November F N one four two at NHS dot net, and then the Westbridge uh, Westbury email is pharmacy dot fcv sixty one at nhs dot net. So that's the information for those of you who want to travel and have their um, travel vaccinations. Or oh, even anything to do with travel. Travel clinic. We do travel clinic. Okay. And also people want to do their COVID as well. The their COVID, COVID job. COVID we do it there as well. So anything at all please just come in we want to help the community okay my job is to help the community like i said i always thank god for my life sometimes tell my breath out mm. my breath part to be a pharmacist oh, no. and therefore i need to give something back to the community yeah. because having children and going to pharmacy school and doing two jobs yeah. working in Sainsbury's, working in asa and also mm -hmm. Having two children, it's not easy. It's not easy. And paying your school you fees. Juggle, you have family members. Paying your school fees as well. It's really, really tough. Going to school. So I want to give something back to the yeah, community. It's, it's, That's what I can do. You, really you know where I'm working. I've worked there. April will be thirty years. Oh. That's wow. nice. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Thirty years. Oh wow. Oh, the whole community knows me. Everybody knows me. Wow. So, so I want to do the best that I can for my community. Mm. You know, tell me, yeah, bro. It's a remarkable story. Enipa abrepa. Yes, it's so it's when you see me up, don't think it's a silver spoon in my mouth. No, 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 no. You know, but I just thank God for my wife because mm -hmm. my wife has been me. I say I'm not the only pharmacist. You're it's yeah. my fault. It's me and my wife. We are both pharmacists. <laughs> it's not just me because she supported me. Whatever I did, she did it wow. with me. So. Mm -hmm. She is a master of the house. She can do the house. Whatever she says is final. All right. So That's a remarkable story. our Thank dear you. listeners, oh, sometimes people don't know, but they need to know this to know motivate the themselves. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's not it just wasn't built in the day. There was a struggle somewhere. There was a struggle. Yeah. There was a struggle. Man has really suffered mm -hmm. and struggled to be who we are. And I'm just glad. At least now the children are grown. Mm -hmm. All of them. The third one is in university. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, second, second year. So okay. when he's also finished, the yeah, first one has finished. The second one has finished. One is um, 
um, uh, internet and the, whatever they, they call mm -hmm. it, um, uh, 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 media, media. No, um, the cyber security. Cyber security. Oh, okay. And one is also uh, finished law school, but she want to be a teacher, so she's yeah. teaching English in oh. secondary school. And the last one is, uh, God has been good to me. You are done. So I just want to help the people. I just want to help the community. That's thank all you, I can do. You, thank you. Thank so you. thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank the Tawali. I salute you, sir. And the Ziki Ziki. Thank you. Baba for too. Yeah. Viewers, you had everything. Yeah, that I see. So, bye. We thank you for coming and giving us that information. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. You had to safely test your blood sugar. So, here's what you need a testing meter, some test strips, a lancing device a lancet, and finally, a sharp spin. Once you have all your kit, you're set. Firstly, wash your hands with soap and warm water. Make sure you don't use wet wipes, this is gonna affect the result. Next, take your testing strip and slot it into the end of the meter. This should turn it on. Once your meter's ready, it's time to prepare your lancing device. Each one works a little differently, but the principle remains the same. Take the lid off your lancing device. Take your lancet and slot it in. Remove the protective cover. Then pop the lid back on. You can select the depth of the puncture. And finally, set the device by pulling the plunger. So now you need to choose which finger to prick. So avoiding your thumb and your index finger, you want to use a different finger every time. So just take your lancet holder and hold it to the side of your finger, avoiding the pad and the nail. A drop of blood should appear, but if it doesn't, that's fine. Just squeeze it gently until some blood appears. Then you want to take your testing meter, take the blood and press it against the strip until your meter is ready. Then to stop any bleeding, you want to take a tissue and just hold it until the bleeding stops. Now it's time to record your blood sugar level. You can use a diary, your phone, or a laptop, whatever works best for you. It's just important that you date and record every single reading that you get. Finally, use a tissue to remove the test strip from the meter, which usually turns it off. Just like a testing strip, a lancet can only be used once. So take the lid off your lancing device and remove your lancet. You can then throw both your lancet and the testing strip into your sharp spin. So remember, check your kit, Wash your hands, choose which finger to test, wait for your meter to be ready, clean up and write it down.